let's make history. The area of Jamaica, Queens, which would one day become Queens Village, was originally christened as Little Plains, as it was the western tip of the end of a strip of treeless plains, which extended all the way to Wontaw, Long Island. Wontaw, Long Island is where Jones Beach is located. So in 1824, a blacksmith named Thomas Burns opened up a shop that became successful. He opened up several more and down the line, the whole area became known as Burnsville in honor of his legacy. 13 years later, a railroad serviced the village of Burnsville. And then 20 years after that, residents voted to have the train station's name changed to Queens as the LIRR, the Long Island Railroad, traveled westward into Queens. Once it got into Queens, the first stop was Burnsville. So it made sense that they changed the name of the station to Queens. However, a bit more down the line, the LIRR felt that that caused some confusion between Burnsville, the district, and the borough of Queens, which at that point had joined as one of the boroughs of New York City. So the LIRR added village to the train station's name to distinguish between the borough of Queens. And so that's how Queens Village was named. Queens Village is essentially a middle class to upper middle class neighborhood. It has several apartment buildings, but for the most part, it's comprised of single family homes. It was also briefly known as Inglewood at one point. And overall, Queens Village is a resilient neighborhood, which is known to have functional schools and a handful of churches which have been standing for over a century. And it has two subsections, Bel Air and Hollis Hills. If you enjoyed this video, there are many more. And if you would like to show your support and send a tip or donation, you can do so through Cash App.